Southside experience, deliberate, precise. Perth, young, fearless, chaotic. Who'll strike first? Best of three. We're away in the grand final of 23-24. Maley. Atwell has been deadly from long range. What a way to start the grand final. We just mentioned the zone defence. That was a really nice change up by the Lynx there out of the timeout, ready for that man offence. Hole inside oh, to Jackson. That's what they needed. Jackson posting up on Atwell. Gives it off. Russell a fumble. Away comes Goodchild, who started well. Runs into Cole. No whistle. McDonald. Long range three is great. This is the layup. Makes that one. What a massive three. Perth have flown the blocks here. Rochi, Mitchell, Cole. There's the inside ball they want for Jackson. Potter's got an enormous part to play in this series. As Perth's one genuine big. McDonald drew a crowd. Dish to Maley and she drains three. Absolutely. And if they make more than 11, they haven't lost a game. They've started well. They're three for three from long range. Mitchell to respond. They needed that. Sure did. No hurry from a south side perspective. They're happy to try and slow the tempo down. Cheryl Chambers telling us they don't want to get sucked into playing at full throttle all game. They can't do that. Ernst made a living out of that. And away comes Dickey. So it's the thing about jacking up the threes. When they drop, you can score in a hurry. When they don't, it's an opportunity for Southside to just steadily grind their way back. And we're seeing that now. That's a great backdoor cut by Rochi there. Chipitoni into the game. She and Goodchild and Gorman will all rotate through. And Atwell, just so deadly. And away comes Maley again. Clinch Hoycard. Here's Atwell. Feeling it. You just can't leave her like that. The Flyers have got to address this pick and roll D pretty quickly. And Maley, whose ability on the boards is going to be critical in this series and this as well. Her ability to run, push the tempo, create opportunities on the outside. Oh. Thanks it. Final 30 seconds. Good child. Potter. Nowhere to go. Gorman, Maley from the corner. Oh. Swish. How's that extra pass? Gives him a totally different feel on the floor, and she checks in. Cole to Russell. Needs to be a catch and shoot. It's really good. Lovely execution to finish the opening turn for Southside. No, not quite finished, but LJ, the putback, that won't go either. It's been the story so far for Southside. They just haven't been able to drop those shots, and McDonald runs into Mitchell to land in long rebounds and then being able to run off the back of it. So they get down the floor. There's 19 seconds left. Cole steps inside. Little floater from Beck won't go. Slapped away by Maley. Picked off Atwell. Will she get to the three-point line? Oh, clever. Mitchell came out. Mitchell. Cole steps out. Big bucket required and the veteran delivers. Yeah, she's an incredible scorer, but she's such a force multiplier for the others. In the games that she's been back with the Perth Lynx, Jackson makes a big three. Mitchell knocked away good child. And again, Potter in good position to pick it off. Maley. Here's Atwell. Wide open. Swish. Clinch Hoycard off to Atwell, who's been electrifying with four three balls. Is it five? She's oh. foul and it drops! <laughs> Amy Atwell, eight from long range, and now she'll go to the line to shoot the extra. Extra famine from that three point line. Here's Atwell again. If there's one player you have to find. This is extraordinary. Oh my extraordinary. She's hit six of ten. Ernst. Dickey. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Jazz goes against Chipper Tony. Tough finish. Well done. Really tough finish. Maley. Inside, outside. Clinch Hoy card. Chipper Tony. McDonald. Back to Mack. Feeds it inside. They can get it done in multiple ways. This time it's Maley under the hoop. We talked about two completely different styles and which system is going to get on top and who can have the game on their terms for longer. Well, it's almost exclusively been on the Lynx terms from the start as Anna Lee drops another one. Rochi to Russell. Can Southside slow this tempo a little? Jackson under the hoop. And LJ comes up with a couple. She's up to seven points. Won't go. Still there. 
And Chipitoni comes up with it. Another 50-50 that goes Pert's way. Look out! Look out! Oh my goodness. How good is this to watch? It's 52% from the three. Risto, you're right. Kick it out for the high percentage yeah. shot. <laughs> Give up the open. No, probably, look, not, probably not the shot they wanted there. Cole being harassed by Gorman. The screen came from Jackson. Gorman trying to guard both. Near impossible to do, and LJ hits a big three. And Southside are just not getting any good stops at all. McDonald kicks it out. They've got other options from long range. Let's not forget. And this is Steph Gorman. They need their bigs to get more involved. LJ's got 10 points. Russell's now got six. Here's McDonald again. Here's Gorman from the corner once more. Cop that! It's great for the Perth Lynx where you force them into isolated efforts that you can guard as a whole team. Final minute of the opening half. Why now not? it's Anna Lee open. Oh my goodness. This is extraordinary. Clogging up the paint and opening up the perimeter for people to be able to take or encourage them to take. Thought about letting it fly, decided not to. Cole wanted to go inside to Jackson. Mitchell does now. LJ, great start for Southside. Got the ball into the post twice for two scores. It's more Southside basketball. Just got to chip away. Potter's shot is short. Well done, May lead a good child, and they come up with two. The Southside look to rally. Mitchell. Rochi for three. That'll get him going. Margin of 16. Atwell to silence the crowd. She banks it. I was just about to say they need to be a bit patient here, but Atwell's like, no, I haven't touched the ball. I'm going to shoot this. Now Aerie's happy just to slow things down a little. Game being played at a frenetic pace. That's better. Lovely. Outside. This has just been extraordinary. Dickey's trying to go basket for basket at the other end. Perth now 17 for 30. And there's Chipitoni working hard in both directions. Uncertain of her options. Needs one to present. It's good child. Shot clock down at nine. Still got some time to work something here. Meal of the behind the back. Now kicks it out. We've spoken about Clinch Hoycart from long range. Pump it inside and then support it with offensive rebounds. I mean, their whole MO is going to be, can they get points in the paint? Can they get second chance points and wear down the links? LJ from long range. She's up to 15. Southside have got 10 minutes of almost learning and scoping for game two. Maybe probing and trying some different things. That keeps working. Just go to LJ. She's up to 18. On the post defense there, full credit to the adjustments they've made for this game. Atwell calls Chipitoni towards her. Goes herself. Well done, Russell. Got in the way. Maley kept it alive. Four seconds and well done, Southside. Jackson off to Rochi. Looks for some support because Perth have got numbers back. Jackson again. Hello. In just two like and a half minutes. Yep, just like that. Atwell, Maley, McDonald, Chipitoni. Huge bucket from the veteran. Every time Southside have threatened to rally, Perth have slammed the door shut on their fingers pretty quickly. Can they do it again? Chipitoni again. Oh, yes, Alex. Lost her footing, so just holds up, gains her balance. Airy from long range. Why not? Why not? Open layups, and on the weak side, you can clean up a lot of possession play. Jackson sits down with four fouls. Away comes McDonald. And again, we've seen Perth just stabilise the situation. When Southside look to rally, Jackson hits a few threes early in the final term. You know, you know when it's coming, where it's coming from. Because then you can anticipate and disrupt it if you're the Lynx. Rochi to Ernst. Poch. To the rack. Nice from Nadio. From Southside, McDonald. Flips it over the top. Good pressure, Luffridge. Well played. And away comes Rochi. Ferocious with that ball to Potch. Here's Dallas. Does she go herself? Off to Russell. Inside to Ernst. Classy finish from Carly. They've spread the load well for the Flyers. Jackson's had 21. Mercedes Russell, 12. Rochi, 8. Lou Brown in the game. Ernst from long range. Yes, Carly. Now that they've got to start planning for game two. Well. Harassed by Luffridge. Right up and in. Amy. Long range. <laughs> she can do no wrong. Off to Maley. Well done, Brown. It'll remain a Perth ball. Vigorous defence there from Lou Brown. Development player last year. Main roster this year. 
Chance to be part of a championship team. Great drive. Potch again. Chipotoni. Nice move. Finds Hannon. Well done, Potch. Brown. Thought about giving it to Luffridge. Instead, she goes to Ernst, and why wouldn't you? Forced up. Final minute of game one. Chipotoni shakes Potch. Reels in the pass. It was going to the corner. Here's Forster. Yes, Chloe. There she goes. Join the party. Jacks up a three. Ernst says, here, have another go. No, you, you <laughs> go, Carly. Yeah. And why not? I'll defer to the veteran. Forster brings it down the floor. And the Perth Lynx take game one on the road.